some naked shamanism. Welcome to With Insights Radio. I'm your host, Iggy Garcia. How you doing, guys? I'm going to take you on a journey across the universe through shamanism, metaphysical, and holistic. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. uh, Today's an amazing, beautiful day. Hopefully you get to experience a little bit. It's about 64 degrees, a little bit of wind. It's not too bad. It's nice. And so hopefully you will be able to step outside for a little bit and experience it and enjoy it. It's really, really nice out. Then it's supposed to get cold tomorrow, but I don't know how cold. But either way, I'm here. There's people in the park. I'm at the park near my home. People are walking. You know, um, people are biking. Some kids are playing. So I can't say it's life as normal, but people are out here doing things. And people are are getting a little stir crazy in their homes. Those who have to stay home because they don't have the the jobs that they lost because of uh, either hairstylists or bartenders or servers or whatever. But here we are, here we are and uh, in Columbus, Ohio, enjoying the weather. It's beautiful out. I'm enjoying it too. It's a good time. Just sitting here on the bench right now, just taking a little break, taking my walk, and just uh, just doing what I do. You know, Sherry, don't rub it in. I'm glad you made it safe to Florida. That's good. And there's uh, Beth. Hi, Beth. How are you? Lori, how are you? Uncle Julio, how are you? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, just just sharing today. Just out here doing what most people want to do. Just kind of hang out. Just do their thing and enjoy the weather. And Some people are like, I'm not buying into this. Or I'm buying into this. Whatever. Either way. But um, hopefully that you are all safe, that you're all in a good place, that you're all getting what you need. If you have all the supplies you have, food-wise, toilet paper-wise, since a lot of us, um, I cook, so I know how to cook, so that's not a big problem. But some people don't know how to cook, and so one of the biggest things were just community building by hanging out in drum circles and hanging out and and bars and the gym those things are, got taken away because because supposedly health reasons and you know we don't want to have contact with people but people are out in full force today people are out in the park and they're having a good time and they're enjoying it and that's what they're gonna do Sessie, how are you and uh, we're just uh, we're gonna do what we do we're gonna do we're, we're we're creatures that like to defy nature and like to defy things and and we like to uh, test the boundaries and how far we can push it. But right now, just hanging out, just sitting here at the bench, getting my walk in, getting my exercise in, not getting it too much in the house. I've not stopped my exercise routine, for those of you who are wondering. I've just kind of kicked it back a little bit, just trying to get the this in order and trying to get it in its perspective. Some of you probably seen my... Uh, my post that I posted today uh, where I said um, I had a dream with my father and I was like shocked to see him and that was just a really brief summary of what I about the dream but I saw my dad and he was alive and I was like okay if you're alive then who's in the box and he says you're in the box and then he laughed really loud and and he just kind of walked away and I was like damn damn puppy just had to just had to teach me that lesson didn't you Bobby taught me that lesson, so I'm in the box per se. You know, box, you know, quarantine box, my mind boxed, you know, so my mind is communicating to me. My subconscious mind is working with me and doing what it needs to do, so that's a good thing. But I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about everything. I know I have all kinds of friends. They all have their opinions and they have their stories and their beliefs of what, what this is all about. I do personally believe there is something floating around out there that we don't know what it is or how to control it. Because if we did, we probably already would have had that scenario and the situation taken care of. Um, and I do believe that you know, I have friends who believe that this is all conspiracy theory, that this is just a ruse to some degrees. That 
they think it's just the flu that's just doing its thing. But I don't know. I'm not going to be mad at anybody. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has the right. As long as you can discern, you can kind of say, hey, this is right, this is wrong, whatever is right for you. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't, just don't have the time or the energy to fight somebody to, who wants to prove to me that it's this way or that way. Because um, I have other concerns right now. Number one, just enjoying this beautiful day is one. Enjoying this amazing day. It's beautiful out. I love it. Sun shining a little bit. It's a little overcast, but it's still beautiful. And, and earlier today, I loved uh, this morning. I got up at like four in the morning. I couldn't sleep. That's kind of where my mind's been. And it was raining and there was thunderstorms and it was just a beautiful uh, fireworks display, nature's fireworks display. Just looking out the window, watching it. It didn't last very long. It was very sporadic, but but there's a lot of water in the park. There's a lot of flooding. There's a lot of things going on. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope everybody is getting what they need. And I hope that uh, that you're all safe and you're all loving each other. I think we have more work to do. There's more things coming down the line uh, to test our patience, to test our hearts, to test our minds. This is, um, this is very unprecedented for our generation, per se, here in the United States to have something like this happen or occur we uh, to be totally I don't want to say totally but kind of isolated from one another or or just corralled into certain little spaces for the moment to some degree you know I've heard a lot of stories about the waters clearing up and the cloud and pollution being reduced which would make sense to some degree if waters are cloudy because people are running through them then that thing will settle that's good that's a good thing so I'm pretty um, I'm pretty excited and you know I'm glad that at least I could be able to share my thoughts with you and it's good to see little kids out playing <clears throat> parents taking them to the park I think we're all to some degree still kind of in shock about what's going on <clears throat> what this is all about what it all means for us, what we're going to do, and where we're going to move, how we're going to move forward. I know some people don't believe this is a real, this is a fake, this is a ruse, this is a, not a real thing. But it's a time for reflection for sure. And I've reflected and I've decided that I get to examine my myself, get to examine where I'm at, how I am, who am I with, who I'm associated with, where I'm going to invest myself, my time, my energy, my monies my beliefs my heart because there's a lot going on and it's a beautiful time it's a beautiful time to meditate it's a beautiful time to reflect uh we're not completely in the pioneer state you know like we're like the pioneers of sort of past but we're in a, we're in a time where we can make a lot of decisions for ourselves you know like how we're going to spend time with the, the people around us how we're going to spend time eating how we're gonna spend time on our, our leisure days for some of us we have a lot of leisure days now um, for a lot of us we're just trying to get through the day trying to figure it all out it's not an easy task but we'll make it everybody love everybody that's what we need to do just keep keep in mind that we're all humans and we're all trying to do get through this the best we can and um, you know the realistic part is if it's true what they say some of us won't make it through this and I pray for those families. I pray for those people who possibly will lose their lives in this transition, transitioning period of our human evolution. We're moving into a different wave of uh, of human evolution. How we will, how we we respond to this, the seriousness of this. Now, some of you know that I've been watching these these uh, these movies with the pandemics and stuff, and. You know, it's been kind of interesting. It's been kind of fun to watch these these shows and watch these movies because it gives you a whole perspective on what what's going on out here. The one that's probably the most most uh, accurate per se to the point where I thought it was really interesting was the movie. Uh, that movie was actually really of of the one I watched. It's probably one that was spot on. It was really people. You know, 
they showed people perishing and, and what we what we would do if we didn't do what we were doing it was kind of a, a kind of a scenario and so I found it really fascinating and interesting the human aspect I mean they had really big name actors and everything in it but it still couldn't it didn't portray it didn't come across and give you that feeling of what you probably would expect to be it probably was because you know it was just could have been the storyline could have been anything it was just something how it was but here we are and 2020 and we're going through a similar situation we're going through a situation where humanity has to make decisions for her, for itself and the leadership that we've elected over a course of years and in time and systems that have been put in place are now being tested now they're being uh, they're being put forth and we're gonna see how, how they're gonna work out how they're gonna benefit us or not benefit us and I'm not one of those people who just think that it's it's all bad this is actually good and this is also very frustrating at the same time and the frustration is when you have to really sit there with yourself and speak to yourself look in the mirror and ask yourself a lot of questions about what is happening what's going on you know what what's what's the thing and so that's the biggest thing for me and if you look around there's people in the park you see people in the park people in the park people in the park and I think people aren't are just trying to they're just trying to figure it out they're, they're people they they want to live they just want to do their thing and they want to be able to they want to be safe and they want to protect their families but they also know that you know being inside of a box contained area for long periods of time is it can't be healthy right they talk about chickens being piled in cages and how they you know they're not they're not very healthy so human beings also have to get out I believe and do and mingle and talk and free range through this earth that we call mother and just kind of uh, just be free to walk and to breathe the air I don't know if the air is any cleaner or not but it feels good it feels to have feels good to have the wind blowing upon your body it's fun to watch the dog running across it's 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 nice to see the elderly couple walking together holding hands it's nice to see people wanting to bring back a positive energy to the earth and I think if we <clears throat> if we do that then we stay healthy and then we stay vibrant and we can stay in a residence that's it gives us a good uh, a good vibration because a good vibration will help us get through this our biggest challenges I believe are going to be our minds what we think about what we're thinking about what's going on in the outside world because in our little worlds our little boxes that we have everything is <clears throat> very isolated very unique to the situation that we're in all right and the situation is this the situation is we only see what's in front of us we only see you from our bedroom to our bathroom to you know, the wherever you hang out to the living room to the TV at this moment because that's where we have to be some of us not all of us some of us have to be there and then when we get home that's where we have to be so in Peru where I'm where I was born there is a there's a mand mandatory uh, curfew you can from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. you can go to work you can do your normal thing after 8 p.m. if you're on the streets you're going to the can you're going to jail they, or, or they take you home but either way you can't be out they don't want anybody looting they don't want anybody you know doing stupid stuff you gotta understand my country has a history of uh, of violence sometimes we have freedom fighters or terrorists whatever you want to call it. So this is an opportunity for people to do some wicked things if we're not careful and unfortunately we haven't had that happen which is good then you can watch videos and stuff of uh, people in Italy. They're singing from their balconies in France. I'm not sure what they're doing, but there's people just doing all kinds of amazing things, trying to make it fun to be a human being right now, to be alive and to feel whatever we need to feel. Because in the end, we're all brothers and sisters. We're all my relations. 
regardless if you like me or don't like me, regardless if you're indifferent or not, if you don't agree with what my, my feelings are, we are the same. A lot of the thought, a lot of us have the same thoughts, a lot of us have the same feelings, and a lot of us have the similar emotions. And we say a lot of things that sound like what somebody else would say. Because we're all connected to the collective consciousness. The collective consciousness is that consciousness that is universal, that we're all tapped into, we're all part of it. And when we're open to the possibilities, we, we can hear that, we can connect to that. We can communicate telepathically, we don't have to speak, we can actually just look at each other and know the feelings that we're feeling for one another and the thing is you know that's where we're, we're headed right now we're, we're headed in a place to hopefully have compassion and understanding and I'll be the first person to tell you that I'm not always compassion and understanding but I'm trying in this time right now to do what I need to do and be where I need to be and share my feelings and thoughts with you guys as the world is trying to figure out what's going on what's happening and it's not an easy task it's also a reminder that I'm a human being, that I'm flawed. And, you know, regardless of what happens, you know, there's like parts of you that you don't like about yourself that you want to improve and get better on. Well, there are people like that that are in your life there to teach you and show you that shadow aspect of you and, and bring out of you and the love and love and joy and joy and the, and the frustration about them and how you feel about them. Because we're just people, we're, 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 we're humans. That we're doing our best we're trying to do our best right now and i think patience is is, a, is one of the, is a virtue it's one of the things we need to work on to stay stay focused in this time because right now i don't know what people are thinking i don't even know what the people in my house are thinking i have one think way of thinking and they're thinking a different way regardless they're still thinking about whatever they're thinking and it's just it's just interesting but you know, like I told you guys, from the movie Semi Pro, Jackie Moon says, everyone love everybody. Because that's all we can really do right now is honor and care for one another and just say, just be gentle and walk, you know, a path of understanding. And I know it's not gonna be easy because right now, you know, it's it's frustrating. Uh, you know, like my, my business is, is a shamanic business and doing readings and stuff. It's pretty evident where your future is right now you're you're in containment of sorts and so you have to do whatever you have to do to survive so those reads are pretty simple those answers are pretty quick and they can answer pretty fast but um i'm enjoying i'm enjoying it to some degree and at some degree it's kind of like oh, i wish you could do more and it appreciate you appreciate the things that you had to like you had the gym if you went to the gym you appreciate the gym and if you had your local pub or restaurant you appreciate your local pub or restaurant you know if you had your your local uh, barber you'd go to and get a haircut you'd appreciate your barber you start to appreciate the things that you don't have anymore you start to appreciate all the little things that you took for granted all the little things that were just like everyday things or everyday occurrences now now you really say wow now I appreciate it. But I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people out there who need a lot of help right now. And hopefully we can help these people. Hopefully we can help these people navigate through this. Give somebody a phone call. I mean, some people won't even answer their phones because they're just in a really, really shadow dark place about all this. I know some of these people and I've reached out to them. And, you know, I encourage you to stop by drive by say hi to people that you see on the street you know call your friends you haven't heard from don't assume that everybody's okay don't assume and there's just a lot of things we just have to be very vigilant okay you know call the neighbor call your friend make sure everybody's okay you know we can't assume that everybody's okay and that we're not we're trying to be nosy it's just <clears throat> we have to make sure that we take care of one another and then when this is over don't stop don't quit Keep reaching out keep loving everybody keep honoring everybody and just do your best just be treat people how you want to be treated and if you feel like you've been uh, mistreated wrong then you know let people know don't just take things for granted and so we're moving through as I'm waving to people <laughs> are you and you know we're just trying to navigate this time this different time in our lives 
and it, but it's nice to be outside watching the birds, people walking through the park and doing their thing, enjoying life. You know, because we don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't even know what the next moment brings. And we're and we're here now. We're here and we're in this thing together. And that's the thing is that we all have to understand that we're all in this together. We're all in this together right now. The life that you had before is kind of over. However you lived before is not the same. For a lot of people, this is a very crucial change in their life, a very uh, cutting of cords, a cutting, cutting away, cutting away things that they used to be in their lives. You know, for me, it's a very interesting situation because now it's like, well, someone has mentioned about grieving. Yeah, it is a type of grieving. It is a, it's a grieving. You know, you were grieving for a lot of things, you know. And whatever that grieving is, you'll figure it out. I can't tell you what it is for you. I know what it is for me. But a lot is going to happen. A lot is going to change. And I do want to let you know that. I can't forecast that for you. And the forecast is you're, you're going to see life a lot different. You're going to approach life completely from a different angle and a different point of view that you've never experienced before. And I'm not saying if, if you were a happy-go-lucky person that you're not going to be. No, I still think you could be that. But you're going to have a different awareness about life. You're going to be looking at life a little different. You're going to be more connected to Earth. Connected more spiritually. You're going to be connected to things in ways you've never been connected. You're definitely going to be connected to yourself. Because you're going to have a lot of time with yourself. And the people that are, you love the most. People around you. And, you know, sometimes they're going to be the test. The biggest test you'll ever have. And then you're going to be around some people who are going to be like, hmm, I think it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to go a different direction in my life. And then you're going to have other people who say, well, you know what? I, I finally got to know who you really are, and I think I'm sticking around. Every situation is going to be different. Everything's going to be a completely different version. But this is a, this is a cool time. It's also a very challenging time. We'll all make it. We're all going to be fine. It's just going to be one day at a time. That's all we have in the moments we have. But I don't know how you guys feel. It feels like, I know it's Friday just because of the calendar, but I, don't, I really don't really know what day it is. It's kind of like things are merging very quickly into a certain space. And right now it's just kind of strange. It's like, you want to think, you don't, I don't even know what month it is sometimes it feels like. It feels like everything's just merging and melding together. It's kind of crazy. That makes sense. But uh, anyhow, it's just, it's where we're at. We've got to do the best we can enjoy enjoy planet earth while we have it and you know and just look at things in a light that's just it's it's a conducive to creating uh peace love and joy and happiness for everybody because this isn't just the u.s this is everybody everybody's affected by this the whole globe is affected by this some worse than others and we're lucky that maybe we don't have the biggest uh, situation but maybe we do what we do what we, ignorant is bliss right is that what they say but anyhow here we are but the days just kind of seem to meld in now they're just all kind of moving together it's a beautiful day though I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful day because God has given us a beautiful day to enjoy and creator has given us a beautiful day to just love great spirit has given us a day to love and enjoy whatever you resonate with mother earth has given us a beautiful day mother earth is shining on us mother earth is she's still green she's still spinning she's still doing her thing and you know what it's just where we're at the park is completely full of people i mean my gosh this is an awesome scene it's an awesome scene because i think people people just really need to get out I don't see anybody freaking out, panicking, or worrying so much. Everybody seems like they're what, arms more than arm's length away from each other. So they're practicing the, what is that word? I can't even think of it. But anyhow, they're, they're, they're creating space between each other, which is good. Yeah. So 
you guys just go out there just do your best enjoy life however you can we have uh this moment today to enjoy the vibes and the energy that's given to us by mother earth because that's what she does she's she's wrapped us up to enjoy this beautiful day and you know spring is here spring is wet sunshine will come and we're gonna love this we're gonna love this year this year is gonna be in time this is uh if you wanted a vacation you got it this is your vacation time enjoy it and if you know if you're ready to go back to work then you will figure that out what's best for you and Krista my friend Krista there she's uh, she's down in Mexico and I hope she's I hope she's having a good time there and I hope she's enjoying her time I'm not sure what's happening in Mexico I don't know what they're doing in Mexico if they have uh, the same scenarios playing out or or the same things that they're trying to work on but either way you guys just do best what's right for you don't think don't worry stay focused stay uh, with conscious heart I'm also gonna monitor the things that I post to try to be uh, a little a little bit more understanding and compassion I know some things I post because you know I get to that point too I'm like man are you telling us the truth are you hoodwinking us what the hell's going on I get like that I should I, I have a right to I'm a human being I want to know what's happening you know just because I do spiritual work and I um, I do shamanic work and uh, I'm a minister doesn't mean I don't have the right to question and ask my my government or ask you know my creator what's going on or ask mother earth what's happening what should I do and I know I'll have to find solutions in order to be part of the solution as well to help in the process but you know what that's what I I have to do I have to, I have to do my part in this whole situation which I I'm just sharing with you my part today is to show you this video of people having a good time in the park and it's a beautiful sunny day and if that's all it was today then that's a perfect scenario that's a perfect thing sometimes it's not grandiose or this magical thing sometimes it's just the magic is just a very simple simplicity doing what we need to do and the simplicity is Simplicity is just being in the moment, being right here, being present, looking up, looking at the clouds, looking at the trees, looking at the asphalt, you know. I'm grateful for the asphalt. Thank you, Mother Earth, for transforming and being transformed into asphalt, you know. Giving thanks to the shade and the shelter that once was metals from the earth. The blocks were from rocks that were crushed. The wood from the bench you know all the things even the little doggy post there for the pooper scooper stuff and the plastic give thanks and recognition we take things for for granted you know we take things for granted thank my feet today for getting me to the park you know thanks for my shoes that came from mother earth thank for my hat you know this phone came from mother earth Everything you touch comes from Mother Earth. Every single thing. There is nothing on you that doesn't come from a planet. So let's give thanks. Let's honor. Let's be grateful for the small things. Sometimes we're really upset because things are away. If you have a cell phone, then you have all kinds of possibilities to do all kinds of crazy stuff. If you have a jacket, then you're going to stay warm. If you have shoes, then you won't get blisters. You may get calluses. But here's the thing. Gratitude is attitude. So your attitude is also very important. How you're going to approach things and how you're going to see life. Life is is a test of series, a test of our attributes, a test of who we are, a big test. But the test isn't about graduating. It isn't about passing or failing. It's just experiences and memories that we will collect along the way, and that's what happens. And that's what we do. So, my friends. As I wind down this little podcast today about Iggy Garcia being live and in nature, you know, think about your situation. What can you do to help your neighbor? What can you do to help your family, your friends, your furry loved ones? Hi, how are you? And let's, what can we do? 
together as a, as a human race to make this a better time for us. 2020 will always go down in history now as, as a test of humanity in the things that they had to do, you know, and what they, what they had to experience and endure together. Because we're enduring this together. See, that's the illusion is that we're all separate and we're all doing nothing. No, we're all in this together. Every single person in this park, we're all in this together. We're all affected by this. People in Russia, Peru, Italy, China, you name it. We're all in this together. We're all going to navigate through this in our own personal ways. And then we're all going to navigate this in the way our governments feel that they should navigate us and help us. As we are on this ship, which we call Mother Earth, we have to figure out ways to honor and respect her in the future. How do we do that? Picking up just one little piece of paper on the ground is honoring her and respecting her. You know, doing something that's just, and I don't have to explain to you guys, especially people my age, there's really no excuse for us, okay? Because we grew up with Smokey the Bear, we grew up with Hoot the Owl, we grew up with, the, you know, if you threw a piece of paper out the window, you felt guilty. I mean, like, it was ingrained in us in the 70s. You know, for a lot of us, I'm 53, so I was afraid to throw anything out the window. I, I'm still like that. I'm like, I, I wouldn't even, throw, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even think it. That thought wouldn't even cross my mind, because I'm like, oh, the litter police is gonna get me. You know, you know, because that's kind of how we grew up. That was our thing, and that was that was our mentality. That if we have to honor what's in front of us, you know, and then slowly we got away from it, and slowly we stopped doing it, and then you know that we're better for it we're better for it because you know what i look at my park and i don't see any trash laying anywhere which that means that that conditioning and that positive conditioning i'm gonna call it positive conditioning it's like when you raise a child and you want to teach them right uh we put things in the trash we put things in the trash and we we put things where it really needs to be and where it needs to go back to so what are we going to learn from this i don't know we're going to find out aren't we we're going to learn that, you know, we're going to have to work together. We're going to have to honor each other's spaces. We're definitely going to have to honor Mother Earth because the way we're treating her right now is not, not good. Everything has been halted to some degree. And it's a time for us to, to really go, what's important? What's important to us? What's important? What's of value? Because, you know, it's life. You know, it's life. It's life. And it's our life. It's an amazing life. So you guys enjoying your walk? Good. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, it's we're here. We're all humans. Human doings, human beings, whatever you want to call us. You know, we're... We're here and you know people are happy there's a smile on their face you could hear them there you could hear the people saying yeah you're having a great day it's a beautiful day because that's it is regardless of how we feel regardless of what's happening you know i talked about how we're not guaranteed anything and you know let's just say that I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. I hope that I was able to share with you and be with you in a way that was inspiring, that was uh, understanding. I try to be myself as much as possible on these shows and show my feelings and emotion and my frustration and anger just the same way. That way there's no misunderstanding. And sometimes I come from ego. I'm a human. Sometimes I come from that place of uh, you know, doubt, concern, fear, anger. You know, the illusion is that we have to be perfect things, and we're not. We're people. We're humans. And, you know, even the most spiritual person has a moment, too. And they have their moments where they, they get frustrated. But they trust, maybe. Just because someone seems to be a certain way doesn't mean that they're always that way. I'm not always a nice guy. I'm only, I can be a, an ass sometimes. 
And I'll be the first person to tell you that. I'll be the first person to share that story with you. Because I also get triggered by things and by people, emotions and feelings. I'm better at recovering myself from those things than I used to be. As a younger version of myself, would have been pretty pretty much in a certain, stuck in that certain energy and I didn't want to, hi buddy, how you doing? <laughs> little doggies visiting but we're that's what we do we get triggered we're human beings so it's okay to be human it's okay to be frustrated it's okay to be angry and I don't need to tell you that you already know that these are things you know so when someone tells you they don't know you or you're not what you seem to be it's their projection of you of their feelings about themselves to you it means that they put you in a, in, a, in a light that was what they wanted to see you like, how they wanted to experience you. And then when you come out of that space for a moment or for uh, a certain reason, it's hard for them to grasp that. It's hard for them to understand. Listen, I'm, I'm just like you. If you attack me, I have to make the decision if I'm going to react or respond. If you're going to accuse me, I'm going to make a decision if I'm going to react or respond. You know, it all depends on the situation. And you're all the same. And you know what? You should be able to create healthy limits and boundaries with people. Healthy limits and boundaries are what are important to our survival as, as our own self. To put that what's good for us and what's not good for us and what people are going to do to us. And what we're not going to take. So respect and honor yourself. That way you can help and you can res respect and honor other people. In the process when you see that you honor you then people see hey you know what maybe he's not mad maybe he's not really frustrated maybe he's trying to honor himself so you will have situations that will come up especially now in these busy times these crazy times that we're going through there's a lot going on just try to keep a level head level understanding because it could really bring out the best of us or the worst of us and regardless it's happening we're enjoying it but get outside, it's beautiful outside, it's nice out, birds are flying, clouds from the sky, sun shining, people walking through the park, hi everybody. <laughs> so you gotta just kind of get out there and just enjoy the day. Tired of getting cooped up inside, you know. I don't blame everybody to get outside. I'm, I'm out here too, <laughs> doing my show from out here. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing time. It's an amazing time to be a human being if you really think about it. Think about that, you know? I mean, really, think about that. It's an amazing time to be a human being. For some of us, it's probably a really scary time, too. It's probably a really frustrating time. But it's a time to see the world in ways that we no one, probably no one else is going to see in a long time. The stories and the movies and the things that are going to be written by the, the history books, how they remember how humanity responded, how they acted, will be recorded now. 2020 will be the year that we will see and experience things that no one else will ever experience in their lives. So we have a great opportunity to write the story in a way that's positive. It's also a way to write the story in a way that's that was daunting. It's it's a way to remind her that what did happen, what did not happen, and because we worked together, this didn't happen. You know. But right now, the biggest thing that I'll tell you is healthy limits and boundaries for each other. Hey Bruce, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. It's been a long time. It's uh, right now. It's about health limits and boundaries. I believe. I really. I believe. It's about creating healthy space within the spaces that we're going to be confined in temporarily for a period of time. How you would respond if you live alone? Then fine. You're probably no problem. But you know, if you live with people, this is probably going to be a good test for you. Because it's easy to leave, come back, and then you know do your thing. But then when you have to actually be there. 24 7 with somebody might be easy might not be if you're newlywed maybe if you've been married 50 years maybe i don't know i think it's going to be a really testament to our wills how we're going to react and respond to things you know if, i've noticed one thing though that even being on facebook it's there i find myself i don't really want to be on it like like it's like kind of drags a little bit it's, I'm not discounting all the cool stuff but it's just so inundated with with stuff right now inundated with 
the, the memes, the funny memes, and the political memes, and the conspiracy memes. It's just kind of boring. So I guess this is why I'm talking to you directly. That way you can get it from my mouth and experience life how it is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a little buddy right there visiting. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, no, he's fine. But, uh, yeah, it's the quiet before the storm, right? That's what they say. And, you know, sometimes a storm comes and it was nothing. And sometimes a storm comes and it was something. So I think being vigilant where we're at as humans right now, working together, honoring each other on being prepared and, and trying to do the right thing and understand that this isn't the most ideal situation for us. This isn't the most... Um, most way we really wanted to do this I mean you know my brother's restaurants closed except they have the carry out stuff so my business is kind of dipped a little bit because I'm not doing my drummings but there's some people gonna take a big hit on this and I hope and I pray that you guys can recover I hope that you guys know that we got your back and I think it's important for us to support local businesses in our neighborhoods, in our in our blocks, in you know the big cities, it'd be just being the barrios, you know. And here in Columbus, would probably be stores. Not not to take away from the big chains, but you know, they have a little bit, you know, deeper pockets. I'm gonna try when I get back on my feet here with like with everybody else is to support local businesses. I'm gonna try to support local the local industry. Not that I didn't before, but but a little bit more than I used to because. They're going to really need it. They're going to really need people coming in. And I'm sure that's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. As soon as they give us the all clear, it's going to be a party. Everybody's going to celebrate. Everybody's going to go to the drink. Everybody's going to go out to eat. It's going to be a... Uh, I can't call it economic boom because it's not really an economic boom. It's going to be a boom, per se. People are going to see the biggest sales in their, in, their, in their businesses. They're going to see the biggest sales in restaurant sales. And there's going to be all kinds of stuff. People are going to go to the store. Not necessarily to buy more toilet paper, but they're going to probably buy the t-bone steak that they've been wanting versus you know all the things that they're maybe eating out of a can but regardless you know i do believe that the future for us is better we're going to do a lot better we're going to get in a better place we just have to be patient we have to be understanding and we have to be prepared for the unknown being prepared for the unknown for me is probably the biggest challenge not knowing what's coming even though you know what's coming even though you know what you feel and you're afraid to say it because you know what you don't want to invoke that energy you don't want to invoke that thought you know our mouths are our, our, what we speak is, is is created it's truth all that we speak is prayers so you know when you're angry and you yell at somebody and you know they recluse and you get what you want and you when you say sweet beautiful words come into your space and they honor you <clears throat> we're we're fighting creatures we are little human beings and some of you i know personally on this on this uh live stream here some of you i've grew up with and some of you know me i'm honoring the dickens <clears throat> but yeah we're out here we're out here just having fun guys so i know you can't put yourself in other people's shoes but try to understand that not everybody's going to have the same positive outlook maybe you have. And you may not have the same positive outlook that other people have. You may be the one who's in the, oh, oh my God, we're going to die. We're all going to die. Someday, yes. Not today. I'm not going to die today. Nope. I won't allow it. Can't have it. Y'all going to have a good time today. Well, get out. Go do something. Be creative enjoy today pop open the grill grill some grill something some vegetables some steak depending what you eat grill something just do something different but you know what enjoy life the best you can this is a time for you this is a time for you to get to know you a little bit more a little bit more understanding of how you feel meditate focus listen go to bed early get up early prepare that garden get the things going 
I went and bought my seeds. I'm starting a little late because just because everything's going crazy. But just begin. Begin to know that there's other things we can do. You want to do that beehive? Well, get that beehive going. You want to put that hammock in your yard? Then get that hammock going. You want to paint that deck? Well, when the weather gets better, paint that deck. You know, just think of anything. Think, think of things you can use with your hands and build with your hands. Get out there. Be the best you are. Do the best you can. All right, guys. Hope on a bono. Much love. You just see me. Good to be here. Aho. Matakuyasu. And all the things you say. May God be with you. May Creator bless you. We are but a little powerful speck we are in the universe. Get out there and do your best you can. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Have a great, great, great afternoon. Peace and love, guys. Everybody, I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed the show today.